Hey guys, um, I'm working on a background loading system um, and also a background chunk generation system. And to do that, I need to have a background thread. And I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I've never uh, worked with threads before um, in any capacity. So uh, this is going to be really interesting. Um, but in terms of architecture, it's super simple um, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I've done some research, but I haven't played around with it yet. So I'll have a job, and a job will basically um, carry a callable um, that basically explains what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and then it will be passed to a background thread um, that will basically do the job, um, have a job queuing system and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm going to try to get started on that and see how far I can get. I, I truly just have no idea um, how this is going to go, but I'll give it my best shot. So I'll see you in a bit. So this is kind of my hello world for uh, threads, uh, again, first time using them. Um, and I have a job here, um, and then I have a thread. Um, and this is just, I mean, very basic stuff. Um, and right now I have a, a simple job that's just going to print out test um, and then start another job. and. I have, um, here's the code right here, where it just, it sets up to start another job. Usually this wouldn't be in here, this is just for testing purposes. But um, if I run it, you see that it, in fact, prints out tests and then starts another job that prints out tests again and itself starts another job. Um, so, any minute now, once um, it finishes loading the terrain, because it's set to priority one right now instead of priority two, um, there we go. So now it's going to start uh, printing out tests a whole bunch of times. Hey, so I finished up the um, the job system and the background uh, stuff. Um, and I've also um, worked and on implementing that for the terrain generation. Um, and this is laggy because I'm using OBS, but I promise you it wasn't laggy until I opened OBS. <laughs> um, but you can see that we're generating huge amount more terrain at a time um now that i'm using this um uh uh this multi-threading system in the background jobs that i made um so it's working a whole lot better now and it the the job itself is is really simple everything is is just it's literally just a background thread and then a job object um and that's it um super super simple um but of course it's threading, so everything's complicated. And of course, I'm running the same code. The only difference is now I'm running it on a um in a thread. Uh, that's the only difference. This is all coming from um all these errors are coming from chunk. Um at let's see here. All the errors are coming from chunk um right around here, somewhere up here. I've I've narrowed it down to this area, but the same code, this code hasn't changed. It's been run uh, plenty of times outside of a thread and it doesn't give me any errors. And then now that it's being run inside of a thread, um, I keep getting this uh, error that says the face count is zero, the mesh shape cannot be created. Well, obviously the face count isn't zero because we have faces on our mesh over here. Um, <laughs> if the face count were zero, none of this stuff would be. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, if you do, uh, your help would be appreciated. Um, but I, yeah, I have truly no idea what's going on with this. Um, so I'm going to look into this and try to figure this out. Um, no clue what's going on. Um, and it's, it's all, I mean, it's all working uh, well. I can show you the generation job, I guess, um, if I can find it. Uh, here it is. So it's literally just calling um uh call deferred um generate on the chunk and then populate uh, on the chunk populator and it's as simple as that um so i mean very simple stuff but very powerful i mean or we couldn't generate a third as much train as this without um it being super laggy i know it's lagging now i promise it wasn't uh before i i opened obs but um and OBS is using 37% of my CPU right now, it says. So um, that's why it's lagging. So, um, 
yeah, but it's a, a huge amount more terrain that we're generating this time, and I'm impressed. So uh, the background thread was relatively simple to set up. It's only two lines of code, but um, definitely worth doing. Um, don't be afraid of, of multi-threading is what I learned. I will say um, I, I tried to make a different multi-thread that actually instance the chunk in the multi-thread um, or in the in the separate thread, and that does not work. You cannot add a, uh, anything as a child um, of a node if uh, unless it's in the main thread. You can't do that outside of the thread. So um, I tried that. I tried it even using call deferred. It does not work. Um, don't try to add child to the scene um, in a multi-thread. But um, after it is added to, as a child, you can then you know generate it and populate it and whatever else you want to do um, relatively easily, uh, and that's what I've been doing. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to try to figure out this error, um, and if not, if I can't figure this out, then I'm just gonna um, leave it be. It's not game breaking. It's there. It's annoying, but uh, it's uh, it's not breaking anything. Um, it's just a minor annoyance, I guess. Um, so I'm going to try to figure it out. Uh, if I can't, I'm just going to move on. Um, and eventually I will, I will, something will come up and I'll figure out what's going on here. Um, but for now, that's just how it's going to be. Hey everyone. So I'm actually not done yet. Um, I've just learned that, uh, objects in Dodo don't actually manage memory. Um, which I did not know. So if you inherit directly from an object, you will not get um, memory management and you can have memory leaks. Um, so right here. Um, so I uh, found out that you have to actually use reference uh, if you want to do that. Um, and so a lot of things could have had memory leaks. Now I don't, I don't know if there were, um, and I trust Apple to clean up after my mess. <laughs> But um, now I am extending from node instead of object for a lot of things. Um, not all things. I mean, there is um, some of them you have to inherit from reference. Others are um, resources now. But there are a lot of things that I was inheriting from object from. Um, and now I'm not. And the problem with um, inheriting from, ob uh, from reference, um, which is what the solution was, um, was that reference, if nothing is referencing the reference, the reference just disappears, it gets freed. And so when you have a thread running in that reference and nothing's referencing the um well the reference, well the background job, um, then the thread just gets deleted before it finishes. So that reduces all kinds of problems. Um and if you use an object and wait until the um the job is finished and then free after the job is done um, it says you can't free the object because the object is locked. I have no idea what that means, um, but that doesn't work either. So in the, in the end, I'm uh, making a node, um, and then I'm just adding it to, uh, as a child of the background job. And then under physics process, I'm making sure we wait to finish, but only after it's done. I'm not, if so, I want to give um, whatever started this job a chance to call wait to finish. Um, and then I'm going to wait for it, uh, make sure it's not active and then I'm going to keep free it. Um, and this is, uh, this works and it's actually, uh, almost good in a way because now I have access to all the jobs that are, are still running. Um, anything can access, you know, background and say, Hey, what are your children and, and figure out what jobs are running. So it's actually a good thing. Um, and you can see that, I mean, the, uh, background thread still works and we are still generating terrain, um, smoothly. Um, so there you go. Um, anyway, just wanted to give you guys that quick update. Uh, uh, the object does not manage your memory for you. Um, do not inherit directly from object. It is a bad idea. It was a very bad idea. And I did not know that it does not manage your memory. Don't do that. Um, all right. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, and with that said, um, that's going to be it. Uh, the background thread works. Um, and I plan on using it for a lot of things. This 
uh, terrain generation first and foremost, but um, other things too, um, including saving and loading and that kind of thing. So uh, that is my next step, and I have to do a lot of research on that. Um, I think I'm going to try to do something with GoTo resources, but I, I just don't know yet. So we'll see. Uh, but I will see you then. And in the meantime, uh, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for watching.